scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Tonight I'm teaching on what I titled the gift of men. The gift of men. Ephesians chapter 4. The gift of men. I want to share with you and unlock to you a mystery behind strange breakthroughs. The mystery or a mystery really not just a mystery but one of the kingdom secrets that controls what I will call a quantum leap in a man's life hallelujah I want to share with you a mystery that is responsible for the sudden explosion in the life and destinies of individuals businesses ministries and all of that please pay attention the gift of men Ephesians chapter 4 your spirit opens to me the treasures of your world and I will forever see your place your spirit opens to me the treasures of your world. I will forever sing your name. I will sing. I will sing. Of the wonders of your world. I will sing. Out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your world, and I will forever sing Seven and eight, Ephesians four, seven and eight. Sabala. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and did what? Gave gifts unto men. Those gifts are not talents. Those gifts are not the gifts of the spirit. Those gifts are people. When he ascended up on high, he gave men to men. There are men called gifts. Are we together? The gift here is not anointing. The gift here is not talent like word of knowledge. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. When you read all through the context of Ephesians 4, you never see the mention of anything anointing or gifts of the spirit. Uh-uh. He gave gifts unto men. Where is your own? Because the Bible says he gave gifts unto men. And he says anyone who has that gift 
will come into a level a stature he calls it are we together he gave gifts unto men fast forward all the other verses he says to the end because of those gifts that we come into the fullness of the measure of the expectation the stature of Christ meaning there is a gift I must receive there is a dimension of the operation of the spirit I must receive in men to be able to rise to that level please pay attention Everything on earth today happens because of one single entity called man. The wars in the world today happen because of man. The peace experienced by, nat by nations have been brokered by men. Listen to me. The poverty that we experience in Africa and other parts of the world have been caused and have been sustained by men. The wealth and abundance that have been experienced in our world today have been engineered by men. The economic system that our civilization currently runs on was designed and is sustained by men. The policies that govern the progress or the slavery of individuals and territories were carefully decided upon and prepared by men the only reason why there are still human beings on earth is because there are still men the reason why there is hatred in the world is not because there are animals is because there are men. the only reason why every other thing works you say I'm a real estate mogul no land does not give anybody money people love the land so the land becomes expensive everything revolves around men please pay attention i want to share with you a powerful mystery koinonia is running today not because jesus is lord but because there are men. the radio station thrives because at the other end of the broadcast there is a human ear not an animal ear not a monkey or a dog ear a human ear to listen there is an armed robber planning to rob today and his mission looks realistic because of the existence of men how come the entire civilization of mankind run men, yet we never study them we study clothes we study oil we study every other thing but we never pay attention to men let me show you a wise man who did what we should be doing psalms 8 hello madonna psalms 8 hello madonna David was called up a man after God's heart. Listen, it was not just Solomon alone that was wise. David was very wise. He said, Oh Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Listen, who has set thy glory above the heavens? Read on, please. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, thou hast ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. Three. When I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon, think about it, which thou hast ordained for, what is man? That thou art mindful. You took your time to create everything for him. You created the sun, the moon, you put protection, you made sure plants produced so god there is what is man what was in your mind when you were designing this entity called man that even you god will not rest why that is all god thinks about in heaven 
Do you know God does not think about his glory? I know what he's thinking about now. Man, think about it. Sister, if you are aware, brother has been thinking about you from morning till night. I think it's a cause to smile. That shows you are valuable. What is man that thou art? It didn't say brain full, mind full. Your mind is full. Right? What's that song? He will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. So what is mine? He never say who is man. He's not talking about the personality of man. What strategy did you design that you call man? I know his personality, but Lord, what is the use of the? Could you not replace him with something? Listen, read the Bible. God has replaced many things with many things. But God has been unable to find a replacement for man. To an extent that no matter how bad man was, God will come and say, we will fix it. Even the man himself, after working them, he still preserved others. There must be more in this mystery called man. You know what is in a bank. That's why they protect it. You know what is in the earth. That's why we put NMPC to guard it. But we do not know what is in this entity called man. What is man? I put it in a better way. What is in man that thou art mindful of him? Can't you just waste them away and build another species? Lord, are you, are you so dull? After you created man, did you lose your sense of creativity? Why do you want to so fix him? Why can't you just replace him? Can't you put a mind in chairs? What is man? That thou art mindful of him. Not the son of man. That as glorious as heaven is. You are not comfortable. So you come to visit him. To an extent that you make that man your temple. That man your temple. Your temple. It's like Donald Trump coming to live. Somewhere at the back of this place. And he says believe me you cannot get the joy. And he said no 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 no. I mean you have everything you need. Let's sing that song again. God, we are, we are, we are flying tonight. He will not suffer my foot to be I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so true. Jimmy, Moses had died when Archangel Michael came to carry his body. Lucifer also came wanting the body. The guy had died, they were fighting over the body. What was in the body? Don't just say it's your spirit alone that is important. Listen to me. What is in this body? that jesus is interested in satan is interested why do demons look for human bodies what in a body L listen listen what what happens to them when they are in a body you must understand this i will show you a mystery that will change your life we look for oil and ignore men we protect oil wells and leave men. Think how foolish we are. We put fence around lands but leave men and ignore them and kill them and bomb them and we want to move forward. The psalmist said, I have already considered the ground. I consider the oil fields. Mm -mm. I consider the sun. I consider uh -uh. I, I found out your attention is on this entity. So God, please tell me what is man that you are mindful of him if i have a safe with a million dollars and i'm hiding it 
if you touch any other thing i won't say anything but if you are coming near there i'll be shifting back that's how it is satan noticed every other thing he touched god didn't bother but the moment he started coming to man his attention but as that man and then jesus himself came and walked upon the earth they asked jesus why did you come he said to die <laughs> what kind of assignment is that went to the cross and the people he was dying for were not even repentant yet he was not angry there is more to me and you i will show you something today that will make you never hate any human being i will show you something today that will make you see that your prosperity is in the hands of man what is man the most abundant secret to our blessing moves around us every day yet we we can trade it a thousand times to look for oil we can trade it a thousand times to look for whatever it is we protect things more than men we would rather kill men than kill things if 100,000 people die listen and nigeria's oil field is protected we think we're still all right listen i want you to think about this for a moment just imagine that everyone at the same time in the world falls into a state of coma except you listen do we have intelligent minds in this place imagine that not death everybody simultaneously 7.2 billion people enter a state of coma right now except you let me tell you what will happen to you i know you will first run to the bank you will find it open by the way you will enter the safe and run to a mall no security no nothing no plane no more terrorists no fear where are the demons they are no longer interested you search for them every dark corner does not make you afraid again so why did it make me afraid man man the only reason why demons have something to do is because man is still alive so brothers and sisters i want to ask you again what is in man don't you think this calls for study this thing changed my life i'm playing with your expectation before i begin to teach you what is man when i consider the work of your hands when you see a man designing something you want to know what he wants to put there when i see you building a house i want to know the kind of thing you want to put there then you finish building a beautiful house lavish money and carry a little gold or a little baby or a dog and put in the house i know that that is a dog plus something maybe that dog you are hiding cocaine in that dog i will tear that dog and find out why are we together now Jesus shed his blood many times men will cry even for themselves to die listen listen have you tried to fix things fix things and it didn't work what do you do you try to fix a gas cooker again and again it doesn't work God doesn't throw it away now it's a mystery I wish I had time I would have shown you something a prophet saw that just like a shepherd comes to rescue a lamb he gave us an analogy in the book of Hosea. I think it was Amos. Amos now. Right? That a, a lion ate a lamb, ate everything. He only left two legs and one ear. Two legs and one ear. Yet the shepherd fought the lion and recovered the two ear, the two legs and one ear. When I read that scripture, I said, ah, if you come and you see a lion devouring your sheep, and the intestines have been eaten only one ear and two legs is it worth fighting for and yet the shepherd fought i preached a message years ago with that because for as long as you can have ears to hear the creative word of the lord and two legs to take a step of faith you can get everything back again it's the mystery of restoration the most important part of that sheep the lion did eat it what a foolish lion it ate every other part and left what can bring it back the lion would have eaten the ears and the legs and gone away and you would have finished that animal 
because if you still can hear and you can take steps of faith then all hope is not lost let's go to our discussion tonight please sit down everything on earth i said happens because of man the demonic oppression happens because of man there are more angelic activities on earth right now than human activities all because of men if god were to open your eyes in the realm of the spirit you will see myriads of angels dispatched and sent because of man every business succeeds because there is a man to provide that value and there is a man to patronize it is that true those of you who do businesses on campus you know that holidays are very bad times for you you don't like it why not because the building moves are we together now to an extent it me that you can ship a consultant from india bundle him like a package and bring him to a hospital just to perform an eight hour surgery and go back and pay him millions yet you think he is worth it hallelujah what is man that thou art mindful of him i have spent my life studying and learning the mysteries of the kingdom that control the results that we desire i still am at it and i do it passionately i'm like a spiritual archaeologist if you would um, permit me to use that word because i strongly believe the the secret of the future is in the past there is something we have long forgotten about that holds the key to a glorious future and so i study a lot and when the lord began to teach me the mystery of men um i just felt it was very important to teach us now when you consider the personalities of men listen you're talking about the psychological implication of men you can have people who we consider to be extroverts people who we consider to be introverts and etc that's not what i'm talking about today i'm not talking about the physiology of men i'm not talking about the psychology of men i'm talking about the spirituality the very spirituality the spiritual significance of having a gift called a man in your life notice every time there is the coming of a man into another person's life the bible calls it an advantage when he created all things when he made the woman remember he said it is not good so another body comes into another life and the bible says that person's life should not be the same I, i'm just using marriage as an analogy he said he that finds a wife he never said he that finds oil he never said he that goes to school has done a good thing he never said he that, he that if you can find another human being then he said there is a friend another human being that sticks close ah, ah. he gave gifts to men the bible was speaking about the patriarch abraham and he said abraham set out on his journey as instructed by god and then lot went with him he never said lord helped him lord just followed another man and lord's life started changing are you hearing what i'm saying now let me show you the implication of men the bible records that there was a man called laban laban and then jacob came to the house of laban and over a span of about 10 years laban's and higher life changed is that true the bible speaks about a prophet called jonah on his way to run away from god's instruction entered a boat where there were other men and certain strange things started happening every time someone died they started calling for the appearance of a man and a man appeared and then something happened have you noticed every time men entered an atmosphere they they made certain things to happen men men 
when Gehazi was troubled he went to meet a man are men really important when they were hungry 5,000 people they found a loaf five loaves two fish from a man and took it to meet a man even when the donkey spoke he spoke to a man please I want you to pay attention because what I'm saying will bless your life forever that means if I ignore men I am ignoring something more than a personality I am driving out a realm of reality and possibility from my life listen listen if I ignore men in fact in ancient times when kings had men they were called wealthy not just because they had an arsenal of people to fight because sometimes the people were not skilled but in the multitude of men is a king's honor the multitude of men is a king's honor every religion fights for men kings of the earth fight for men the only reason why they fight for territory is so that it can accommodate more men are we together when a man meets with his wife they give birth to another man why is God interested in another man when Satan tries to afflict a woman with barrenness what is he trying to stop what is he trying to stop he's not trying to stop joy no he's not trying to stop peace there are people who are happy without children why will Satan take the issue of men personal when Moses was giving birth to mm, listen Moses was giving birth to a decree. Listen. They said they should kill all, not animals. Men. In this case, the masculine uh, gender, but then men. When Jesus was born, the same thing happened again. Kill men. What is in man, oh God, that you are mindful of? What am I missing? the last person i drove away from my life what did i drive away i'm about to show you why is it that the bible even says a born again spirit filled man for treating another man in his life called his wife the heavens will close over him and his prayer will not be answered i didn't steal i didn't kill i only did something to another man that was not good yet heaven responds to it This entity called man, brothers and sisters, has more than just a personality. If all you look at is just two eyes, two legs, and a personality, you will cheat yourself. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you certain things about men. Number one, men in themselves are not perfect. Ignore this, because what I'm about to show you will be stopped when you are when you don't take away the you know the, the the effect of some of these things i'm sharing men are not perfect in themselves you may meet foolish men in your life you may meet all wise men in your life however it still is not in enough reason to just throw them away they may be holding certain things that i'll be revealing to you shortly are we together for some reason, God hid his possibilities in men. He didn't hide it just in buildings. He didn't just hide it in territories. But the consecration of the possibilities of men, he hid it. The possibilities of God, he hid it in men. He made man the highest of his creation. Men are not perfect in themselves. Number two, the attitude and the behavior of men, good or bad, good or bad, listen to me, does not stop your receiving what they carry. The attitude of men, good or bad, 
does not stop your receiving what they carry Elijah was an angry man yet he was used to change the life and the stories of people you have to listen to this let me say the third thing that I'd want to say about men are you ready for this There are certain possibilities in men, listen to me, that predates even their salvation experience. Please listen. Predates their salvation experience that can still be received, whether they are born again or not. You have to understand what I'm telling you. Now, am I just, am I saying people should remain unbelievers? No. But I am saying there are certain things that God has put in men that can be received whether or not those people are born again or not if an old woman causes you whether as a witch or as a human being the fact that she has lived long enough certain possibilities have been opened to her to be able to speak over your life are you getting what i'm saying now yeah all through scripture every time children cried god had children every time read your bible every time children cried there was a response from the earth to heaven that's why i say out of the mouths of babes and sucklings thou had ordained are we together your destiny and my destiny are men dependent write this down it's a very serious point the your destiny and my destiny the fulfillment of it is highly men dependent my prosperity is men dependent the quality of the work god has given me the quality of your church your ministry your life is man dependent the quality of your life on earth as a believer and as an inhabitant of the earth is man dependent your success and my success in life are highly or is highly man dependent Evil on earth is man dependent. The advancement of the kingdom on earth is man dependent. The fulfillment of prophecy on earth is man dependent. God can speak. The Bible never told us in the prophecy. He said a virgin shall conceive. A woman aligned herself with that prophecy otherwise Jesus would never have been born he never said Mary no a woman chose to play that script it just so happened that the name of that woman is Mary it was said he would be buried in a virgin tomb he didn't tell us the owner that was somebody's business that was his property it so happened that the man who fulfilled that prophecy was Joseph of Arimathea. He said how that he would be betrayed, but he never said by a man called Judas. The prophetic word of God, listen, has been hanging over the heads of many people because the men to make it happen are not available. Or they have come and we have driven them away. Please pay attention. Occultism thrives through the availability of men. When the devil wants to destroy a family, there usually will be an envoy, an individual, an entity, whatever it is. Men are more powerful than mediums. You can keep a charm in a house, but the most powerful charm is an aligned human being who has agreed and said, Satan, I donate myself to scatter the life of these families. 
Are we together? My assignment is tonight is to help us to open our eyes to the mystery of these gifts that God has given us that we throw away from our lives around called men. And watch the unlimited possibilities. I call it a quantum leap. That your life, there is a, a quantum leap is a jump. Not just a movement. You move from one phase of possibility to the other because of the presence of a man. Hallelujah. There are four implications of the presence of men in your life. And I want you to note this. Number one, the first implication of a man coming into your life, especially sent by God, is the coming of wisdom, ideas, and strategies. The only entity that is able to convey wisdom, ideas, and strategies is man. Every time a man shows up in your life, wisdom, ideas, strategies, wisdom. So when I drive a man away, I did not just drive a personality. That's why I said, "Doth not wisdom cry. It personifies wisdom because wisdom moves in and through men. Are we together now? The conveyors of strategies and ideas and wisdom are men. Every time you are ready to move in a, to another dimension, God sends a man. And if you have the discernment, that man can represent the strategy for the next level. That man can represent the wisdom for the next level. That man can introduce the idea for the next level. Many pastors, many businesses, many individuals are grounded because they think men are just black entities in clothes. No. Every time you see a man coming to you in your state of misery, begin to rejoice and begin to discern what is this man? What is coming to me? It's not just a human being with a mouth to speak. Are we together? When you order a product from Conga or Jumia, they have their pack. Is that true? No matter where you buy it, they rewrap it with their own pack. And every time you see it, sometimes it could be a surprise. When you see it, you start laughing because you wonder what is inside. Whether it is big or small, you want to see what is inside. The next time you see a human being come to you, especially sent by God, in a prophetic season, you must begin to rejoice because that person ignore the personality this is what I'm teaching you when you look at the personalities of men you will drive all your miracles out of your life there are times you have to ignore those personalities and discern I've been fasting three days Lord what is the key to the next level then a man comes men are the vehicles that God uses to transport wisdom and strategies wisdom and strategies implication number one pay attention to what i'm teaching you wisdom strategies let me tell you i think shortly before koinonia would start when we we're still meeting that time at the back of chapel in the abu campus here one night the lord led me to do something i just told everyone we're not so many maybe three four hundred or so then and I told everyone, please, can you write? Don't write your name. Just write out whatever suggestion that you think can make this ministry rise to the next level. That's your assignment. Just write it and drop it in the basket. Brothers and sisters, my life changed. Koinonia entered another, a quantum leap. When I began to read some of the things that were written, I was shocked. Man bringing with them strategies do you know the answer to your prayer is not far from you you just don't have the eyes to see let me tell you god is not wicked i have learned by experience that every answer is closer than you think 
it is shrouded in a man the secret to your financial hardship somebody is walking with the answer and he will walk and pass you walk and pass you walk and pass you even be encouraging you while you are crying but because you have not discerned that men are the conveyors of strategies men are the conveyors of ideas men are the conveyors of wisdom I've had people help me solve problems in life and I've been surprised not at the solution they brought but that they are the ones who brought it and I start saying I mean so why did I start going around I mean you were here all the while has that happened to you after going around looking for answers talking everything it is your roommate while you are discussing in the night you say have you tried a b c and that's the end of it men conveyors solutions disguised in human beings that we push away and never rise to the top every time you pray and you see men coming into your life pay attention there may be men who have annoyed you every day of your life but on that day they are sent on that day they are sent who gave naaman the secret of his health i know we clap for elisha but it was not elisha the bible says there was a little slave girl correct a slave girl meant that she did not even have the rudiments, the education and the training yet listen it was her that told naman he said I, I i know i'm a slave but there is a man of god there is a man of god i want you to meet when he met the man and you know doing his big manism she she's the one who came and advised him and said see he didn't ask you to go and bath in another dirty water somewhere and naman washed seven times and the Bible says his skin. Could it be that since 2013 you would have risen? But God kept answering your prayer and you kept rejecting the answer. God, give me strategies. And all of a sudden, he said, Please get out this way. We're talking serious things here. Said, I had a little dream. I saw you. I just wanted to share. Shut up. Don't tell me anything. I'm not stupid. I'm, a, I'm spiritual. A small girl like you. And you threw away your answer the person only humans can dream dogs don't dream forget all that junk you hear from sciences only humans have the faculty and the capacity to dream a dream is a mystery is one of the access points where we receive revelation from the realm of the spirit only men can dream only God knows how many times you have dreamt the answer to someone's prayer yet the person drove you away I'm not talking of false prophecies and, and nonsense where you keep harassing everybody you keep seeing things about everybody's life not your own life I'm talking of quality God inspired solution that has a track record of results that we all appreciate are we together men number two what is the implication of a man in your life endorsements and opportunities men are the conveyors of endorsements and opportunities listen if no man can endorse you in this life you will never rise Paul the apostle a man approved endorsed when they produce a drug they say this drug has been endorsed by the nigerian dental society brush with it and your life will never be the same or whatever it is that that is the advert are we together now the endorsement whenever you are in doubt when you see that endorsement listen we trivialize endorsement companies have entered million dollar status overnight because of endorsement people have gotten admission with whatever it is because of endorsement i was talking with one of our people here who had been trusting god i think for a change of faculty or something and um you know the guy was discouraged and then i told him i said he should meet our daddy prof you know just to help him out and he said he i saw him i think it was just last week or so and he was telling me he said everything is settled though 
He said in his presence they were driving everybody out. But immediately he entered and they saw the signature. They said, come in. Is it prof? Come in. It's called what? Many carnal people think it's not spiritual. You need endorsement. It was John the Baptist. Listen, this is a secret many rising ministers don't know. Somebody who earns the loyalty of the people must speak for you. Otherwise the gate will not open. The gate will not open. Show me the man speaking for you. Show me who has authorized. Listen, when a man endorses you, he takes his sacrifice and puts it for you to cross with. Many believers lack endorsement. Many businesses lack endorsement. Many individuals lack endorsement. There are many people who would have gotten jobs if only someone can say this and that and that. By the privilege of God's grace that he has granted me, I have endorsed people with just a statement. A one-minute phone call turned them to millionaires. One-minute phone call. Oh, I know this person. I can vouch for him. Help him. Benny Hinn was at almost at a state of financial bankruptcy one time. They were going to cancel the crusade because he did not have enough money. He needed $10 million in three days. $10 million in three days. An anointed man like Benny Hinn, please pay attention. Benny Hinn was, you know, making a program challenging the partners to come and, you know, when the accounts department, their back office were looking, nobody was really contributing. And the Holy Spirit told him to go and bring Oral Roberts. He carried Ora Robert and brought him. The old man came and sat on air. And they had only three minutes. Can you imagine? Three minutes to the end of the program. Do you know what Ora Robert said? He said, Benny is in need. Please help him. In less than 24 hours, they raised about $15 million. Everybody say endorsement. Don't joke with what I'm telling you. I'm teaching you a powerful mystery that you will need. Promotion many tongue talkers sit down everywhere because they do not do you know why i'm teaching you this i'm going to tell you the responsibility so that when you see a man that can endorse you no sacrifice to maintain the relationship becomes too much because you understand the implication of that person's reputation to your destiny all this unnecessary anger with everybody because you think you are the god of yourself you will stay poor and broke and you will lose a life endorsement 90% of the ministrations that I have gone to by the grace of God have happened through endorsements. One pastor endorsing this. Someone saying, I came for koinonia. Listen to this message. While they are saying that, I'm probably sleeping or gisting with somebody. I pray for someone tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice, the voice. No, any, listen, not every voice can lift you not every voice can lift you the voice that has been accredited is the voice that can lift you and i pray for you in the name of jesus the son of the living god may that voice speak over your life yeah. hallelujah men imply the presence of endorsements and opportunities pastor alpha called me i think when was it that yesterday i was in abuja and he called me and he said apostle do you know anybody who read civil engineering there is a job right now as we are talking for the person no interview no nothing and all he wanted was who is who is there I mean, so that we can give him the, I said, Kai, I don't know anybody in my mind. Let's come for Koinonia. After, maybe the person is here now. As you are hearing, you are saying, praise the Lord. And I help you answer hallelujah because that's it. It's done. Someone's life changed overnight. How many people after service, they were just going out to trek just like that. And somebody gave them a lift. And while discussing, they said, ah, what do you do, young man? He said, sir. No, I'm just moving around. Say, how, how can you be moving around? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Come to my office, take this card. And they thought maybe the office looks like just a small fish pond and another building. And they enter the office and they say, Sorry, this person. And they 
it keeps getting access until he gets to the man and he says, well, I'm the managing director of ABC. I'm the Nigerian representative of this. Let your life change. Can men change people's lives? <laughs> you, are, you are a big joke. Look, let me tell you, some things are not demonic oppression. Some things are childishness, which have been caused by lack of orientation. Sometimes we need sufficient adults to tell us how some things work. You know, all this childishness people carry around. I don't need anybody. You need, oh, you better change that talk quick. I don't need any man. Are you joking? Man, what is man that thou art mindful of? Man is a conveyor of endorsement an opportunity are we together that's why we work at making every service a great experience for everyone because everyone's experience is automatically an endorsement of what we represent I have gotten things without paying for them because of endorsements Brothers and sisters, I'm showing you a simple secret that will change your life forever. The Bible says they know not, neither will they understand. They grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course. People have received partnership in their ministry overnight because of an endorsement i've had the privilege i remember one time a particular pastor somewhere you know I, I don't raise money raise funds and all of that but i went to the church and i you know i saw the project they were doing and when i you know said everything i said by the grace of god um i want everybody to sow a seed for this project just jokingly do you know the pastor would call me like two three weeks later he said in all they have met they have prayed and they have fasted him he was saying apostle you are really anointed i said no 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 no. in my mind it's not just the anointing it's a track record listen listen don't wait till you create the same track record you, you will you will time time cannot wait for you leverage on someone else's sacrifice The condition that was available to create that track record by another may not be available for you. Are you sharing what I'm saying? I know lecturers, and I say it with all humility, and it doesn't mean you should meet me after the service, but I know lecturers that I have called and said, Sir, please, so, so, so has met me that there is a problem in your department. And this thing is going to affect him. Ah, my apostle, how are you? You are even calling me. And I say, sir, please, I'm not saying you should uh, do anything, but please, sir, can you look into this issue? And the person will just come out and say, I passed, I graduated. It's only me that knows what happened between me and the other person. May someone discuss your rising, even when you are sleeping. That when you are, when you are sleeping, someone is saying, look, do you know Sam? I know how he will rise. Come on now listen those who understand this never get stranded no sir no sir no sir there has to be somebody to speak the voice that speaks for you is the ladder that you will use to climb in the destiny of life you don't pay attention to what i'm telling you to be at your peril because someone is receiving already the answer this is how god will bless men in this season that's why i tell you when god says it's a year of triumph believe him it doesn't take time it just takes the right voice speaking for you hallelujah i have entered offices today i have no business entering it because of the endorsement endorsement Who has endorsed you man of god i know you are anointed but you are sweating all around with posters flying everywhere and saying please invite me give me 30 minutes out no 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 you don't have to do those gimmicks who around has had the credibility and is willing to endorse you hallelujah i will never forget one one of our ladies when she was preparing to get married when she went to meet her mother, her mother said, I don't have anything to tell you. I don't even know this guy. Just go and meet apostle. Whatever apostle says. Think of it. Leaving somebody's destiny in my hands. I called the mother. I said, mommy, this guy is a very nice guy. He said, apostle, you are saying that? I said, yes. From that day, 
there was no ch challenge again lord raise somebody to speak for me or raise someone to endorse me raise someone to endorse my business raise some raise someone to endorse my life my destiny there has to be somebody to speak for you listen let me show you that jesus immediately they gave birth to jesus where did they take him to the temple there were two men that endorsed him are we together immediately they took him one prophetess called anna had been there praying and fasting she lifted him and began to speak and then Simeon the prophet began to speak when John was among different people when John saw him John said behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world in the presence of everybody somebody must speak to you in the presence of everybody don't be angry that men are doubting you you have not done anything to bless them why should they not doubt you listen listen let me tell you do you know i say this with all humility there have been people who by the grace of god they started out in ministry and the church was not growing the ministry was grounded and all they needed sometimes they just call and say man of god please so many people listen to your messages in this region you are not here you don't have a branch me i'm here you know i love god and these people never come to my church and then they make arrangements and the day i'm going for those meetings some of those churches don't even have plenty of people but they have multiple overflows those times why because somebody that the people believe in has appeared are you hearing what i'm saying now and then the moment i speak i now say oh this is my a, a pastor friend a great man a man of integrity i love him with all my heart and immediately it looks like a one second or five seconds talk but the members just say i found my pastor since i can't come to zaria i found the person that can represent him that's why sometimes people foolishly carry my picture for meetings that i'm not coming they don't care whether i say yes or no they just start producing the posters in advance first because they think it's endorsement sometimes it doesn't work but when you have a man truly who can speak for you brothers and sisters i don't see the witch or the wizard that will tie you ladies have married cheaply because someone recommended them brother i've been praying honestly there's this lady i've been looking ah no 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 this lady is a blessing i tell you if it's this lady you are sure of joy and peace in your life whether in plenty or in luck and the brother says I've, I've, my prayer has been answered a few months later they are married but do you know the same way people's destinies have been cut short somebody was about to rise but a bad talk from someone brought him down they were about to give him a job he said don't give this guy a job he worked with me he's toast meant he, maybe the guy has repented oh do you know paul had to do this for onesimus it's in your bible accept him i know he was once so 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 and so but now just accept him there are people here all those who know you knew your yesterday you have repented today you need a fresh voice that will tell people this is not Saul this is now Paul because the, the, the predicament of being Saul is destroying your breakthrough who today must speak and say no 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 this guy was an armed robber but January he repented are you hearing what I'm saying some of us our past will never let us go they know that you used to be around following every man yes that was your past but now you are born again and Jesus is Lord of your life yet all the people in your life are people who knew you 1997 so the moment they see a responsible godly man come in they call and say Kai, um, you know David Dam I wouldn't have told you it's just because you are my brother this is not a good choice I command every voice that speaks when you are about to rise the moment there is consultation among your destiny helpers to, to lift you there are voices there are pastors today that should not be begging for bread partners wanted to sow into their lives but somebody said i saw his poster with a and b's poster and immediately over 70 ministrations cancelled just because somebody recommended you badly i pray 
any voice in the name of Jesus that has been speaking evil against your destiny I silence that voice right now shout amen I silence that voice right now I silence that voice right now please sit down sit down hallelujah cheap victory because a man showed up quantum leap because an endorser showed up there are pastors who their destinies have changed overnight a man of god they invited somewhere could not make it and he'll just say please can you go and stand for me that was a meeting that their level of grace and experience should not take them there and they stood there and they did well that day after the meeting there are seven or eight pastors and they say sir please can you come to a, for a meeting can you come for a meeting etc etc there is no meeting brothers and sisters that i will go for that afterward somebody from that meeting will carry the wondrous works of god to another region this is how we have grown as a ministry this is how we have grown, even financially the blessing that has come from people are we together now i remember someone one time sewing into the ministry and he said that him i think he's a critical person he hates men of god many men of god are fake they are not serious but when he listened to my message and his mentor he, he had his mentor whoever that person was listening to my message he just said no we'll be sowing into this ministry every month i tell you every month he sows a seed to koinonia and a seed to my life do i know him i have only communicated with him on text but endorsement don't trivialize what i'm saying endorsement someone you are selling products and you are doing retail whereas a hotel somewhere or whatever needs your product in wholesale but they don't trust you and you will not be given the opportunity to prove your trust you will only be given the opportunity to be trusted based on somebody who already knows you who they believe and someone will say some answer ah, listen if he's a maker eh, i can tell you he will deliver your chickens every time if it does not deliver it just take it at my risk and all of a sudden they will just sign it and instead of selling one one chicken somebody will come and say it's two five you say we'll give you 700 and all those arguments for hours just to buy one chicken you will start doing wholesale delivery your life has changed music artists how many music artists have been suffering as if god didn't call them beautiful voice but no voice to speak for you beautiful voice but no voice to speak they only invite you if everybody they invited is busy then they'll say sorry honestly this program is in three hours I, are you free just come and cover our shape you need a voice say i need a voice, I need a voice. say I need a, I need a man yeah you need the coming of someone in your life to speak for you what opportunities have you been given were you giving it or you looked for it by yourself are you seeing the secret to hardship where you have to look for everything by yourself who has called you to say there is a big opportunity i cannot handle it but here you go like whoever is going to get this job now there are times they've invited me for almost every invitation that we honor there are a few others we have to turn down and there are times in my spirit I have felt led to lift certain people and I call those people and say I'm sorry I can't come their heart is paining them and I say no 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 but this person cannot call but I know someone I can recommend for you do you believe me ah apostle we believe you we have been praying okay invite us so and so he will bless you case close I don't want my life to be hard though the Bible said the way of the fool is hard wisdom that voice that must speak in my life this has been my prayer i'm sharing with you my secret prayer lord who is the person everybody is buying land they say there is no land it's a lie it's just that all the important people have bought it the day you come they'll say please so so said they should give him land i've shared a testimony here that i heard years ago um and i'll reiterate it very quickly someone who wanted to 
um, I think get admission in NDA and then the, the required height level the person did not have that required height level and you know military people they are very serious well that's it he returned back to Zaria and then met the Emir and the Emir sent that they should go and tell the commandant they should go and tell the man that the Emir has added the height of the person hmm. who is adding your height in this wicked world listen this our world is fierce and wicked who is hiding your height when people stand and conspire we must destroy benga we must make sure he does not rise who is the voice authorized to stand and say no notice i will show you why doors don't open because the truth is i want to admit this with all humility many of us are already prepared for the next level but we don't know the endorsement is the key that we need the truth is if it's music artists god has honored this ministry with great people if it's intellectuals there are some of you seated right now one endorsement i remember a gentleman who came here um some time ago a medical doctor and he discovered um something he was he got the patent for um reproduction of something to reproduce a particular device that can check i think it can check your heartbeat and whatever without taking blood from your body very smart guy he came here and i told him i said please go and meet our daddy so that they will connect him with professor knock and like that and i think so on and so on like that like that we've not seen the guy again i want to believe that god has lifted him and i pray that it is so i made up my mind that every voice that must speak into my life whatever price it will take i will pay to secure the endorsement of that voice it's not human worship hallelujah or a robot help benny he's in trouble and all of a sudden somebody's prayer point becomes a gift hallelujah there are men of god who just do you know there are certain stages even ministerially speaking sincerely if god grants you the privilege and the access to stand on that stage as far as ministry is concerned god has helped you there are certain individuals if god has given you the privilege to see god has changed your life endorsements opportunities number three what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives number three what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives access to financial and material resources write it down access to financial and material resources part of the fringe benefits of the coming of a man into your life access to financial and material resources listen listen every one naira every material resource you pray for is currently in the hands of a human being right now praise the lord every land koinonia will ever buy in any nation of the world is currently in the possession of somebody now every transfer that you have been fasting for into your account there is an entity holding it now like this the money for your house is in somebody's account so when you start building a house it will not fall from heaven transfer will be made transfer will be made transfer will be made human beings there are human beings that are generous enough to change your life listen koinonia hear me it is a false understanding to believe everybody is greedy there are absolutely benevolent human beings your own price is to win their heart you can go to bed hallelujah and lot went with him he didn't say and lot believed what he believed lot just walked with him hallelujah do you know that someone was sharing a testimony somewhere 
uh, I think it was a lady or so that was sharing a testimony. Somebody she knows, they were walking along a path, a road, and then the person was quite a senior man, and then he met a very big man, and he was greeting the man. And whilst he greeted the man, he gave the man, you know, the person she was walking with now. That stranger, rich stranger, gave some money and looked at her and said, ah, young lady, he decided to give her something too. Just like he was not even counting. She said when she counted it, she found that it was 50,000. Just because she was working with who? Think of, think of your prayer point disappearing simply because you are working with the wrong person. It's the same way you can be working with somebody and you check and find out, ah, I left my house with 500,000, now I have 12,000. What happened? The presence of someone took something away from you. Access to financial resources. Your money is in the hands of men. Please believe me. Your money is not just in the hands of business. You can sell anything you want to sell. It's a human being that will have to buy it for you to be paid. Men can bless you for no reason. You must believe this dimension exists. That a man can just bless you. I've had the privilege of blessing people in a lavish and a generous way. For no reason. I don't even know some of them. Hallelujah. Let me share a testimony that will bless you. I share these testimonies to encourage our faith. I came back from Abuja this just this evening, just coming here now. And um, yesterday in the night, I decided to take a cab just to go and get something to eat before returning to sleep. And while I got there, my, my elder sister came to give me a surprise visit and we chatted for a while and then, you know, saw her off. Uh, on my way returning, I asked the man, I said, how much is your bill? Probably because the man saw me buying things for my sister and the rest. Ah, the guy said, oh, guy, anything you give me? I said, no, no, please don't tell me all those things. Just, you, you are working. You are working with intelligence. What exactly, how much is your money? And then he mentioned, okay, X amount. He said, oh, guy, you know, I told you I have three children. Because I asked him. I said, oh, you have children. How many children? He said, three. I said, you're a hardworking man. You know, we're talking on the way coming. I said, I like you. You're a diligent man, striving to make sure you provide for your family. And then when he asked me how much, I said, no, but you know that's not the price. So how much is the last price? Then he now told me the truth. He reduced it by some amount. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me. He said, I should take whatever was in my pocket, everything, everything that was in my pocket. I don't know how much, but it was, it was nothing less than 25000 He said, take everything and give the man. As soon as I draw from the car, I said, Mr. Man, you do not know me, but go and tell your lovely children that you met a man who decided to bless them make sure you take care i removed everything i dropped it the man was afraid ah this is i hope this is not blood money and etc 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 i just dropped it and said okay this is where i'm highlighting god bless you until i entered the man was shocked that's the kind of experience that is i didn't know you will answer me this way There are such occurrences on earth. I'm giving you an example. That's somebody's prayer. Now, it may look like it's 20 or 25,000 or whatever. I know it looks small to some of you. But that's the same way it can be 200 and something million. The same way it is that trivial. The same way it was. There are obedient people. Let me tell you. There are people who pack out of their house and give you if God said it. But if they have not had God, you can be dying. They will look at you like this. There are people who the voice of God is their trigger. But to get that voice of God, you have to invoke this and say, Oh God, let let send this man. This man has what it takes to wipe my tears. Financial and material privileges accessed sim not through intelligence and business acumen, through the understanding that men can do this. I started doing something some time ago. I don't do it again. When I go to get fuel, whoever is before me, no matter how much he wants to fill his tank, I pay for it. I just said I would do it as a seat. If I go to get fuel and you happen to be before me, whether it's a bucket you are carrying, as long as it's within my capacity, I will sow into it. And I've done that and I watch the joy that it, it, it produces in the life of people. Watch this. 
one time I, re- I remember I think it was one of this was it Salah or something like that a, a, part- a man came and I saw him bring out 200 naira ah, the wife was at the back of the bike just he even just put one leg down and opened that this thing just it's as if you just press the thing and take it back how much with 200 naira fuel I, I looked at him I said please fill the tank for him the man just turned I was greeting him as a field attack. When he finished, I just waved. I said, Madam, bye bye. You know, this and that and that. And the man just looked at me. Do you know why I'm doing this? One, because I love God. Two, I am activating the same thing because that's what I want in my own life. I want a situation where one day somebody says, Joshua Selman, I hear you need a house. This. I hear you need five acres of land for Koinonia. Take. I hear you need joy and peace. I believe it or if you like don't believe it I believe it with all my heart it's not laziness it's a provision that is in the kingdom how many people have gotten free house they are not in ministry one day somebody just said come and escort me and they are sharing houses and you just got your own and left quietly and ran out of the town just quietly got a lawyer and said sign this it's called prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared blessings that's what God is getting ready to bring for us in this season prepared blessings where you will wake up in the morning with a text and you check the text and all of a sudden a man sends you a text wanting nothing in return I'm not talking of bribe look at this many of our parents some of you know that I'm telling the truth they are brilliant According to their level of sacrifice, they should be working at the, the highest echelon of the government. But today, nobody can speak for them. There are many people who should be legislators, doing very well. Nobody is speaking for them. There are buildings, houses that should be completed, but there is no help. Because you start on your own. You are receiving 20,000 naira every month. But you know one day you can just be passing and somebody will just look and say once in a while we just want to bless people and it just happens to be you dr mike mudok shared it a story one time how that i think it was his dad of blessed memory or mom they performed a surgery and it was about twenty five thousand dollars the people had exhausted all their monies and you know the hospital just called them and said once in a while we like to do good things to people just like charity and it happens to be you I was told about a woman of God in Abuja today that went to a particular place and saw um, it's like their chapel devastated. She brought out 8 million cash and said they should rebuild a house for God from scratch up. I know a man of God in this country. Well, not a man of God, but a rich man. The pastor had been shouting, we need a tent. All of you so we need a tent we need a tent let's beautify the house of god the rich man just kept quiet as if he doesn't know what they are saying one day the guy got up and bought a tent 25 million cash they brought it i'm mentioning these big amounts for a reason i want to stretch your mind because some of you will never believe it if you like see i'm talking about money no problem i know you don't need it but your destiny needs it <laughs> so you better pay attention in the name of Jesus connection with men who can help you do you know sometimes all you need in life is just help you don't need advice you don't need suggestion sometimes all you need uh, you don't need help like spiritual help the direct need if you need a watch just sometimes case closed just that watch. sometimes what you need is financial help When Ruth, listen, when Ruth and Naomi, when Naomi stood and was confused, did not know what to do. And Ruth said, I'm not going anywhere with you. Do you know a time came when she went to the field and she saw them gleaning? And Boaz said, leave some. What did she do? Just leave some. There are, there are blessings you will enter into this year that you too, you will know that this one no is not me it's purely the sovereignty of god and i stand in the name of jesus christ i prophesy it upon you as surely as the lord god of heaven lives may that come to you speedily
may that come to you speedily everybody shout prepared blessings say it again prepared blessings it, it, it is true it happens where somebody just steps in and solves your problem directly I share with you a testimony those who just got admission in the school of ministry congratulations but you will notice that a supplementary list came out it's not in our culture to release a supplementary list are we together now someone spoke for the students a voice that I honor, that we honor. I supervised the supplementary list by myself. There were three people that I honor with every esteem in my life. And when three of them called me, I said, no, no, no. I'm under authority too. Bring all the forms of the students who did not get the admission. You, you were just sitting in your house and you saw an alert. And they said, congratulations. But someone spoke for you. Why has it stopped? Why should it not continue in other areas of your life? That somebody will speak for you. You are just sitting, you see an alert with a phone number and you call and say, who are you? You say, we were discussing and someone mentioned your name. It has happened to me. It happens all the time. Pray one minute and say, Lord, help us. Financial help us. Please ignore people who think you are wasting your time. Pray this prayer with faith. Lord, send help us. The house of God needs help us. My family needs the ministry of helpers. All I need at this point in my life is a genuine helper. No string attached. No, thank you for investment. But what I need now is not an investment. I need a helper. Helper, my family is about packing up. I need a helper. Please don't joke. This is your destiny. This is a kingdom secret that can wipe your tears. I cry for a helper. The gift of men. He gave gifts unto men. He gave gifts unto men to the end that they be established. He gave gifts to men to the end that they be helped. In the time of recession, he is still giving gifts to men. In the time of lack and want. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Jesus, this is someone's breakthrough tonight. I believe, I believe, I believe. Who said the medical bills must be paid through salary? Who said the helper cannot arise and wipe it? Who said the roofing of the house must be done by your savings? Hallelujah. Please sit down. I tell you, my spirit is stirred with what I'm telling you. Many of you will thank me. You will see your lives change overnight. Don't mind people who think what I'm sharing with you is not making sense. I show you what can change your life. Brothers and sisters, is one of the biggest secrets of this work you see by the grace of God. There are few things in this ministry, let me tell you, there are few things in this ministry, few things in this ministry that are actively being paid for from the central house. Every week, every time 
there is somebody rising to handle something when we used to use other venues there are people who just arise and say look i will pay for the venue i will pay for this how much does it cost to transport people all through after service i will pay for it don't think it's everybody who must say what will i get in return there are people whatever you want to give them god has given them already they don't need anything they just want to bless you what is man that thou art mindful of number four what is the implication of the presence of men in your life i call it impartation access to impartation and the prophetic access to impartation and the prophetic why do you need men in your life their presence can guarantee you access to impartation what is impartation transference of grace for possibilities transference of grace for possibilities men move according to the kinds and the dimensions of graces at work in them no matter how you cry for god to anoint you if you ignore men you will never do you know look at me some of you all you need in your life is just that prophetic push prophetic push bishop oyedeko said every time they are busy celebrating winners and say wow this is how the ministry has risen they will just go to papa Ia Deboe and you just lay hands on him and say you have seen well but a new level and that's the end of it prophetic push is capital it can bless your life it can wipe your tears one prophetic word i've shared with you countless testimonies here to the glory of god maybe i'll just review one or two remember the story i told you about the two women i went to buy sugar cane and two mama old women old women I'm not sure they could even speak English and they were trying to remove they were trying to uh, um, what do they call it yes to remove the wrapper so that they remove the small money to pay for sugar cane and I said uh -uh, I may not have much but come on these are my mothers let me bless them and I just bought the sugar cane I don't think I spent up to 100 naira. I can't remember how much exactly and those women were so touched they were blessing me and blessing me and one of them said my son forever walk upon gold how can a woman who is trying to remove five naira she knew what she carried on her head listen don't wait for people's physical result to believe they have it you will be joking you may see a man with 10 members but he must have he can have a king maker anointing he can anoint you and you have a stadium full of membership if all you are looking for is someone else's result no some results are not meant to appear physically they are meant to be transferred and reflected in the life of another it's called a king maker anointing they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who anoint and throne and dethrone kings those of you who have kings in your village you know there are people who sit down with the kings they are called king makers they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who consecrate kings saul never became a king himself but he was the one who made kings and he was the one through god who rejected kings let me tell you there are people who carry graces they may not physically look like it they may not be millionaires but they never lack quarter to shame god will always arise that's a grace you need because all you need in life is not just money bishop oedeko calls it the grace of on time when things come too late they can kill you they should come on time how he got that anointing he said he was a particular man of god i don't know if it was archbishop benson Idahosa or whoever it was who he, you know sent him on errand sent to Edeko on errand then when he was just starting and to show up at a particular time and the person showed up fast and and the Oedeko showed up fast and then the man looked at him and said ah you mean you came at the time he said from today i impart upon you the grace of on time before a need arises the supply comes there is such a grace now you may see people move they are not millionaires but they they carry that possibility 
the moment shame is about to come something must happen to change that result it's a grace impartation by God's grace we have lavishly received impartations in this place impartations I have received impartations I'm like a bee I'm a product of strange graces Jesus himself being the chiefest of them all but there are human vessels there are men who have entered my life and just wiped my tears in certain areas impartation and then a prophetic push I told you prophecy is both revelatory and creative the more superior dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension revelatory dimension gives you faith and direction but when you get to the end of your road you need the creative dimension of prophecy where someone can look at your life and say look physically speaking there is no hope but in the name of Jesus I introduce a reality an equation into your life I was teaching in in, in Akure and I told them the anointing is the, is an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage prophecy this ministry you see there are constant prophecies being bombarded on our heads prophecy 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 where is the prophetic voice pushing you to the next level where is the prophetic voice that's why every time I minister here I pray and I speak over your life from the depth of my heart it's not just copy men of God. I understand the power of the prophetic. Second Chronicles 20, 20. It says, believe in the Lord your God. So shall he be established. Then it says, believe his prophets. So shall he prosper. In other words, don't believe them. And what happens to you? It says, and by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, were they preserved. The prophetic is real not just calling names and numbers but the ability to speak realities into being taking an advantage of this mystery the capacity to create things because everything that appears comes from the unseen realm so a man can program your destiny through prophecy like an alarm clock you can program an alarm clock to ring at a time you see that you program an alarm clock 327 and the clock will be quiet as if he's dead. 327 on the dot. That's how a man's destiny can be programmed. A man can shift a breakthrough that should happen when you are 49 to happen when you are 25. Prophecy. Prophecy can shift possibilities to and fro. You must understand this. By this time tomorrow, Elisha said. He didn't say God told me by this time tomorrow when he met the shunammite woman he said what should i do to you should i talk to the king he said no no i live among my own people what should i he said well we don't have a child hear what he said he placed a time that's one of the ministry of the prophetic is to place a time for your miracle because the clock must ring he said to appoint unto them that morning zion to appoint so something that would have happened next year they take it and make it happen next week it's a superior dimension of the prophetic. A woman will be coming here, I'm sure, one of these days to share her testimony. She sent a testimony that touched me. Now, this is not the first time we're getting these testimonies, but they are very powerful. I don't have time to look for it in my phone, but I will tell you. She said, I think we're in a program. I don't know which of the meetings now, whether in Yola or whatever. Yes, they were part of those who uh, were in the welfare cooking, cooking for us. And I always pray for all those who cook, those who drive me and cook for me every time I go for any meeting. Now, I prayed for the woman, and according to her, she said, I told her that, what do you want? And she said she wanted twins. And she said it jokingly. And I said, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you twins. Nothing really happened. She got pregnant two weeks after that time. That's the first news. This is a woman that had been barren. And, but when they checked her, there was only one child glory be to God that's all right at least I'm happy that I'm pregnant now and she said just like um, I think maybe a month ago they went back to check and they were twins twins right there you see that 
she sent me a text actually because she started having some little pain like birth pains and they were saying most likely they will use cs so she shared that testimony and she was trying to encourage me to pray for her so she can give birth you know safely and then come and testify the creative dimension of prophecy that can place realities children just come through a man they come from god the moment mary said be it unto me she was pregnant it's just the body of the child and the genetics that come through the man children are a heritage from the lord he said when he led captivity captive he gave gifts to men the question i want to ask you tonight before we pray is have you received your own because the bible says that he gave those gifts to the end that we attain a level you have not attained that level meaning you have not received those gifts have you received the strategies the ideas the wisdom have you received the endorsements accreditations hmm. have you received financial and material resources i'm speaking to somebody from the depth of my heart there are testimonies i can begin to share with you now but if I say some of these testimonies that they are not, it's not even safe for some of us because it may just push you through seasons you are not ready for. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you the truth. Anybody that tells you that God cannot fast track the life of a man is he joking. Look at my life. Look at my life. I've heard of testimonies of people. In this recession, people have arisen and done things you cannot imagine one of the gifts that god has given me in my life i draw me to the leaders and the workers all the time is the gift of men the gift of men is greater than money the gift of men is greater than money there are some things money cannot do are we together listen if you labor on to death i've given this example here you labor on to death and you get five naira and somebody walks up and gives me five naira. Are, are five naira the same? No. Your sweat and your life was drained for that five naira. It's, it's called the mystery of hardship. When you work for everything, you know we encourage diligence here. But your lifetime is not enough for you to get every result by working. You need an advantage. And that advantage is shrouded in men. Not oil. Not real estate. Not banking. Men. men who have you ignored in your life whose voice must speak for you in this season it's not that there are no jobs there are people getting jobs every time just like someone is about to get one now but who is speaking for you oh there are no contracts please keep quiet don't say there are no contracts with 7.2 billion people on earth are you joking there are no contracts there is no contract for you but there's contract but a voice can make it for you come and do a miracle a miracle today you will do a miracle a miracle today listen when you get into trouble hear me who speaks for you there are some of us it's not all about money when you get into trouble who speaks for you there are some of us if things don't work out in our lives we are dead there's nobody to arise and speak for you the bible says valiant men came to david they entered a covenant that they must make him king who is ready to die to see that your cause you criticize a man of god and there's nobody to back him no sir there should be somebody no 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 no. don't say this against pastor femi i love him are we together they just said they ate some money in your office you are about to be thrown out you are in trouble and you are innocent just because you are working in the accounts department they are about to jail you in the prison in the in the police station there's nobody to speak for you 
before the law court, nobody to speak for you. They are about to throw you in, nobody to speak for you. Hapa. That's a life with no favor. That every time trouble arises, somebody will come and say, Look, ordinarily speaking, you are supposed to do A and B and C to a Mecca, but I come in. Have you seen people who, when they are fighting, they come and stand and say, Don't beat this person. It's better to beat me. Who can cover you like that? Politicians call them Godfather, God, whatever. Brothers and sisters, we have ignored this to our detriment. One of the blessings God has given me in my life is not just divine immunity and protection. God has raised men, I can tell you this, men who will stand and they won't mind blood coming out of their bodies to make sure they protect my interests and what we represent. And I do not take them for granted, but I am grateful. I have been shocked. A man of God somewhere once said something that was not too nice about me. And I mean, that person, I, I didn't even know. It was when he apologized. More than 100 people called him, blasted nonsense out of his life. I said, God will punish you and punish you and join and punish you. You mix every, the baby and the bad water and think everybody. It was something that was trying to show maybe like all these men, those, you, you know, you know what I mean now. Maybe somebody put his hand in something that is ungodly. Time shall tell. You know those kind of sarcastic statements. And my goodness. And I'm not talking of young people. Married women. The person will say his testimony and blast the man and say, Are you stupid? The man sent me a text. He thought I knew about it, honestly speaking. It was when I got it. I said, No, 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 no. No offense. I don't have work. Why, why? I mean, I don't keep any offense. What for? Can you have people like that? There are men who can arise to cover your shame. Just because they know you, they will arise and say, no, 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 no. I will cover your shame for you. We have some prayers to pray this night. If our parents had this, they would not be struggling like this. Because every other person who has risen has exactly what they have. Educationally, whatever it is. No help. No help. You work hard, you go to school, almost as if you would die, you graduate, and your, your certificate becomes like a toilet tissue. Nobody to speak on it. The only thing there is the registrar's signature. And life will look at you and say, no, I need another signature. Come on, this is, this is, this is too regular. Show me another one. You are praying and fasting, but you need to start praying strategically. Don't just pray and say, Lord, send angels. Yes, angels are important. But you need a physical entity moved by those angels. There was a particular time they were going to this. Paul was afraid of entering a city. And God said, no, no, don't be afraid. I have many people there. Nobody will touch you. I have many people, many men there. I'm tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than this. I'm tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than this. There's got to be more. got to be more. There's got to be more than this. There's got to be more. There's got to be more than this. Listen. One of these four things will become your prayer point. I'm going to give us 10 minutes and I will not interrupt you. 10 minutes alone with God. You know what aspect. The Bible says he gave gifts unto men. Ask God, Lord, where is my own? Where is my own gift? Where is the man you have sent with the financial blessing? Where is the man you have sent, oh God? with the prophecy for my next level where is the man you have sent with the idea where is the man to endorse my life my ministry 10 minutes please I don't know how you will pray but the next 10 minutes instrumentalists help us cry before the God of heaven and say Lord I want to receive my own gift you are giving gifts to men Ha! 
Overnight, if you have never believed a man of God in your life, can't you just believe for once? Doesn't your spirit bear witness that this is the key to what brought you here? Man, an advocate, man, listen, listen. He said they are taken for a prey, but none say it restore. They capture you, but there is no man to shout restore. Prayer point number one. Oh God, whoever holds the strategy, the wisdom, the idea that I need to experience triumph, I open the gates of my spirit and I receive them as gifts. Go ahead and pray. The gift, the gift, of wisdom the gift of understanding the gift of strategies business strategies through men ministry strategies through men oh 
One man can change your company. One man can change your business. One man can link you up with what 10 years has not been able to give you. One man can open up the gates of ministry. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. I open the gates of my spirit. 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 I receive them as gifts. Hallelujah. One man. One man. The difference between you and the next level. Prayer point number two. Listen. Father, I have the talent. I am ready for the next level. But there is no ladder to climb. The voice that must endorse me for the next level. I call you by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. The voice endorsing my papers. The voice endorsing my products. The voice endorsing my services. The voice endorsing the hand of God on my life. I call you in the name of Jesus. Prophesy, prophesy. Prophesy. It's time to rise. Somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Call them. Call them Koinonia. Call them. Call them for your family. Call them for your life. The man to endorse your marriage. The man to endorse access to the man of God who carries the grace you need. The man to endorse your business. The man to endorse your employment. Thy kingdom come, thy will be. Hello, Lord, don't die. Thy kingdom come. Pray, 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 pray with all your heart. Lord, I'm a master's holder. I'm ready for the job. I need an endorser. I'm a PhD holder. I'm a graduate. I need an endorser. Lord, I'm a businessman. I have paid my price. I have done my homework. I need a voice. A voice to speak at the gate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. If you are a parent here, yeah, everything you pay, you pray for yourself. Pray for your children. Whether they are in your womb or they are everywhere. I hear what I'm saying. If you are a lady here, as you pray, you lay your hands on your womb. You don't wait till you get married. Come on. John was filled with the Holy Ghost in his water's womb. You can speak favor to be waiting for that, 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 that child formed in favor prayer point number three you are going to cry now listen 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 i told you there is the sovereign dimension of god's will you are going to cry for help help don't cry for money lord a helper can come i call him to my life lift your voice and pray a helper a helper are you praying a helper a helper
helper a helper it can be this difficult it can be this difficult it can be this difficult bring a helper to make my life easy oh God so that I can have the time to serve you so that I can have the concentration to focus on my assignment Lord I'm tired of financial distractions Lord I'm tired of material distractions send a helper to clear the way that I can serve you send a helper are you praying are you praying don't look around pray A helper must show up. A helper must show up. A helper must show up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Kai, I tell you, I'm, 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 I, I feel the joy in my spirit for the prayers who are praying. I know this prayer is doing something in the realm of the spirit. The last prayer point. I want you to pray this with all your heart. You are going to cry and say, Lord, the prophetic push. That one you can have it this night, right now. That one is available for you. Is up for you to receive. You are going to pray and say, Lord, the prophetic push, that push I need, that impartation, that prophetic push for my ministry, for my life, for my family. Lord, my family is in hellfire. We must come out this night. Lift your voice and pray. Pray outside, pray online, pray. Wherever you're connecting from any nation of the world, pray, pray. Pray your way to a new level. Pray your way to a new dimension. Pray your way. Shakata kata. Reko to 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 peke peke te. Reko sopo to to bas. Ebra kata naka to peke te. Reko se peke te 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 te. Neke te 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 bos kapari ata. Shapa ko to 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 pe reke te 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 te. Reko to sopo peke te 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 te. Hallelujah. Listen. Never forget this kingdom key. It's a mystery that has been responsible for the, the mysterious rising of stars. No father, no mother, notwithstanding, they rose. No education, no experience, notwithstanding, they rose. Come on now. Life delayed and battered. The enemy ate a major part of their life, but in one year they recovered. Through men. Through men. Never forget this. He gave gifts to men. He gave gifts to men. Man of God, I'm 45 years. I've wasted my life. Don't worry. One man, one man can step into your life and answer the question of 10 years. Man of God, my business is grounded. Listen, listen. Do you know, while the Lord asked me to prepare for this message, I was watching Channels TV and I saw how that Eric L was about to pack up because they were in debt. It was so much. And imagine a big, one of the biggest airlines in the country. I love them, of course. I know that there are people who work there who might be listening right now. And for me, I felt so sad because I know how our administration depends on that airline alone there are places only them can go and i started thinking i said my god that means there has to be another plan 
and the only other plan can be chartered services and all of a sudden I just had that Amcon representing the federal government said they are too they are too important to let them crash and they said we're coming to wage you I said this is my message this is my message the federal government how many airlines I don't want to mention names have crashed in our presence federal government waved them and said you, you are in debt but that a man is almost falling and then a hand picks him you are too valuable to fall so I help you listen so you are making a mistake and you are about to die you don't even know what kingdom key then God wakes somebody to start interceding for you because you are too valuable before you catch the revelation someone else is already praying for you lift your hands I want to pray honestly God sees my heart and God knows that I'm praying this prayer from the depth of my heart don't worry whether you are standing or not just a sign of faith I want to pray for you the Lord has declared that is this year of triumph let's not make him look like a liar you've heard the testimonies of people hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ the sovereign Lord the one who orchestrated this message I pray for you prophecy number one is that in the name of Jesus the son of the living God beginning from this night a man everybody one by one a man must show up in your destiny a man must show up in your destiny hallelujah prayer point number two paul said once and again i desire to come to you but satan hindered us satan hinders men there are some of you god answered your prayer since last year but there is a spirit somewhere sitting on your breakthrough in the name of jesus I'm, I'm prophesying I'm just speaking in tongues in the name of Jesus every force sitting on your gate to make it not open for your helpers I cast those forces out of your life I cast those forces out of your life I cast those forces out of your life listen whether it's an activity of witchcraft an activity of causes projections of men in their anger the scourging tongues of men to cause the constellations to fight you in the name of Jesus Christ who died and rose again I command your gates open I command your gates open I break the power of divination I break yokes and curses I break the power of divination When Jesus got to the grave of Lazarus, others were crying, but they did not know even in the grave, if a man comes, resurrection can happen. The grave was there, waiting for a man. When Jesus came, he said, Ah, uh -uh, hold on, Lazarus. Only the voice of a man could call another man, not the voice of an animal, the voice of a man. And he said, Lazarus, come forth. Comfort. Comfort. I want to call some things. I want to call some things back. They left you, but they are not missing. They are still on earth. They left you, but hear me, they are not missing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kabato koto paratia. Embre toko to pereke to shapariata. Ratata rata reko sobariata. I prophesy whatever has left your life whatever has left your hands money that you lost business that you lost relationships opportunities I prophesy 
restoration now restoration now restoration now listen listen i don't care what happened i i don't want to know the story behind it in the name of jesus christ even if it's a body parts that disappeared i call a new one now Lord, my altar is calling you. My secret place is calling you. With my worship, I'm calling you. My worship. See, right from outside. Well, this started while I was praying. But right from outside, as soon as I entered, you know how prisoners move and they tie chains. I was hearing the noise of many chains. Right from outside, as soon as the car dropped. Please take serious what we are sharing tonight. I want you to pray and say what ever degree of influence the devil is claiming over your life and your family this night this night please pray Yes, Lord. We expect the mighty visitation. Get angry in your spirit. I hear the chains falling. Yes. I hear the chains. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Now listen, the Lord is showing me certain people. You have been experiencing Hello. movement in your body. Scriptures especially your stomach. Please come out quickly. Things move physically. Physically in your body. Please come out quickly. Incline that to break to every work. chain. Let them not Please save our time. Save our time. We have a lot of things to do. And keep them in the midst of thee. As you are listening to this chain. message, Break every chain. 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 
Those of you in front, lift your hands. That devil of darkness, lift your hands because that yoke is about to leave you. That snake, that moving object, for many of you, you will fully leave. I'm going to count three. Just those of you in front, I like you to shout Jesus at the count of three. It will jump out of you. Many of you will feel it physically. Physically, lift your hands, Father. Thank you. Let your fire out of three every stranger in this body on the mark said, Go one, two, three. Holy. someone is gone now your right leg you literally feel it move it's like a snake it moves there is a leg it ties your stomach literally you feel a lot of contraction it's going right now madam come hold my hands that's the lady i'm talking about bring her let her go now now out of her. That devil of darkness. Shabakata tabakata. Sekete prosopata. In the name of Jesus. Out. Go. 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 I hear the chains falling. I prophesy upon your life. Those of you standing. Every foul devil of darkness that has found its way into your body that is responsible for all kinds of devilish infirmities. I command it to live now. I command it to live now. Return back to your seat rejoicing. We are going to take testimonies. Return back to your seat. Bring the lady. I hear the chains. I feel the chains falling. Let her go. Out. Now. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. I see the chains. I see the chains falling. Lift your hands, everybody. I hear the Hallelujah. God is going to deliver families right now. Please lift your hands. There will be representatives of families right now. Let me tell you something. There are all kinds of things speaking against families. See, I have an apostolic calling. I'm not a pastor. Are you getting me? My job is not to just motivate you. My job is to destroy and annihilate the works of darkness. Are you getting my point? So we are going to pray. The fire that fall in this place right now, there will be a baptism of fire. Some of you will feel the physical fire. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. 
At the count of three, you're going to shout that name, Jesus. And as you shout it, many of you will be shocked. The power of God will hit you like a tornado. I tell you, it's not just you. God is visiting families right now. Inside and outside, lift your voice. Worshippers, are you ready? At the count of three, with the clash of the cymbal with every instrument, shout at the top of your voice, my God, let the fire of the Spirit visit families. Are you ready right now? One, two, three. That devil is a liar tonight. Please bring them out. Ultra, save time. Some of you join the ushers if they are too slow. Please. I set it on fire. On fire. On fire. On fire. On fire. I set it. That devil that will not let you go must go for you tonight. I give the chase for it. Oh God, I give the chase. I give the chains. Lift your hands. There are still more people. Lift your hands, everybody. Just lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just the clash of the cymbal. Lift your hands. Just a symbol. Lift your hands. The fire of God is still coming on people. Just lift your hands. Keep them lifted. Yes, Lord, let it come. Let it come. Let it come. Let it come. Like the dew of heaven. Right now, let it fall. Let no one stand. Bring them out. Go put to chopa. Zakata pata. Zakata kata ta 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 ta. Mighty deliverance is happening in this place. I tell you, brothers and sisters, whatever said you will not go tonight must go for you. I give the chains falling. Lift your hands. We are still praying. There are of you listen please I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is ministering to me there are many of you that your sickness is not really sickness bring them out please your sickness is a demonic oppression what you need is not healing for these are the kinds of people God will visit right now hallelujah because I'm seeing blue flames in the sky instrumentalists don't stop playing please hallelujah blue flames and the Lord told me this one is to take away the spirits that sponsor sickness. Lift your hands. Many of you will be very surprised that certain things you have been calling diseases are yokes of darkness. Lift your hands, everybody. At the count of three, you're going to shout Jesus again. As you shout Jesus, many of you, those spirits will literally jump out Jump out of your life. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands, everybody. 
inside and outside god is visiting everyone at the count of seven please i want you to shout at the top of your voice one two three four five get ready thank you jesus six seven things that manifest like sicknesses you keep wasting your money on drugs it's leaving you don't wait till you come out deliverances are happening to people now all of those who are here satan you and every demonic cohort at the count of three you are living right now hear me all these spirits now one Two, three, go, 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 out, 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 out now, out, out, come out now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, listen to me. This is very important. The Lord is showing me someone you've been having. It's like something is hooking you on your neck. Just your neck. You try to cough as if you want to cough it out. Please, who is the person? The Lord is ministering to me. There's somebody with that situation. Please, once I call your case, don't waste our time. We are trying to beat time. Honestly, there is done. It will go now. Sister, look at me. Look at me. That thing will disappear. Hold my hands. Out. Now. In the name of Jesus. Hold my hands. Place one hand on your throat. Out. Now. All of you just lay your hands there. Let me just pray at once. Please, we are not playing pranks. We are going to take some testimonies right away. There are people who are receiving miracles right now. Please be checking yourself. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. 
Lay your hands. Father, let this demonic thing that is hooking your people go as a sign of the release you are bringing. Right now, in the name of Jesus, it leaves. What's wrong with this baby? Come. Are you the mother? Yes, sir. What's wrong with him? Sometimes he used to hiccup. Hiccups. Look at this boy, as small as he is. Stops now. In the name of Jesus Christ. He stops and does not return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Does not return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, mother, right now, help her, please. This, this cause of delay in your life is gone. Now, let her go. Leave her now. I proclaim you healed now. Please go back and check yourself. Go back and check yourself. Hallelujah. There is someone here. Hallelujah. Please, are you listening to me? It's like muzzle pull. You can just be moving and it will hook you. And you can just stand on your leg. This has been happening again and again. You feel it like muzzle pull. It just holds your leg. Move. Please, who is the person? Come, just lay your hands there. They are praying for you right now. It will leave you right now. Let's just flow as the Holy Spirit. Please lay your hands there. It is going to go. Thank you, Jesus. Father, right now, let your power rest upon them and let that demonic thing go. Be gone now. 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 And as I lay my hands, just check yourself. Now. In the name of Jesus, do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. Check yourself now. Check yourself now. Check yourself. Check yourself. We'll take testimonies. Hallelujah. See, miracles are happening. Let's, let's just finish up and then we'll have time for testimonies. Hallelujah. Listen. The Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing a lady. Hallelujah. Please, let's have our attention. The Lord is ministering to me. He's showing me a lady. You had... I th you saw a cat. Now, I don't know if it's physically or spiritually. You saw a cat. It came to fight with you. And from that time, you've not been feeling fine. You're feeling like there's something inside you. Who is the person? A cat. A cat. It's an encounter with a cat. The Lord showed me. Please, inside or outside. When we get that person, let, let the person come out quickly. Quickly. I need to pray for the person. This is very demonic and we must deal with it. A cat. You saw it, it came. I don't know what, what, what transpired, but it's a very demonic thing. Please, when we have the people, let's deal with it. Now, I'm going to pray for the sick, those who are sick. Please, all of you who are sick, just come and line up. If you can form two lines, one in front, one at the back, very quickly. You came here sick. Please, this is a miracle service. We're here for you. We're not in a hurry. Ushers, please coordinate them or protocol whoever. Coordinate them. Just make two lines, one in front, one at the back. Please hurry up, worship us. Give us a very powerful worship while we get the devil out of these people's lives. Thank you. Now it's time for God to minister to the sick. While you're standing, talk to the Lord and say, Lord, it's over. It must leave me now. Exceedingly, abundantly, far above all. all you could ask. I want you to see that sickness for the last time because it's leaving you. According to Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power to heal. 
Somebody help me. Please, as I lay hands on you, just begin to check yourself. Check yourself. Small, come with them. Is you come, Auntie? Come, what's wrong with her? She's sick. What do you mean she's sick? What's wrong with her? Cough. Eh? She's coughing. Oh, cough. Oh, okay, that's all right. God bless you, sweetheart. Look at me. You believe Jesus can heal you? You believe Jesus can heal you?
Hallelujah. Worship us, please continue. God bless you. See, I want to ask you, hear me. Hold on, let me explain something. There are some of you who, when I pray for you, the way you are looking at me, it's as if you don't believe what I did. I always ask you what is wrong. Are you getting me? I'm just flowing by the Spirit. When I lay hands, some of you are trying to explain and you feel bad that I'm not responding. I don't need to know. The same power will solve the problem. Are you getting my point? Occasionally, I may ask you, it is just, I'm just flowing as the Spirit is leading me, okay? Bless you, worshipers. Please continue. Son, please. Daniel, what? Just about two, three months ago. So I've taken to hospital. First hospital. What was the issue? What's the issue? Maybe like he put a lot of saliva in his mouth. His mouth has burned to one side. It's not working normal again. It's not smart again. It's not working. It looks like an imbecile. When he was not born like this, this thing started just about three months ago. Yes. What? See how wicked the devil is. What happened to him? I mean, what, what? According to him, he plays ball. He's a goalkeeper. According to him, he's a goalkeeper. He's, yes, he said he dive and hit his head on, on against stone. The first hospital I took to, they say he affected his head, his brain. But when I went to a teaching hospital last time, the consultant said there's nothing like that. But he fell so by a pediatric uh, clinic, which were, were given an appointment by February. But I believe God will work upon that. I say we should come here this morning. Absolutely. Look at me. Boy, does he understand me? Don't worry, don't worry, sir. It's okay. Look at me. Jesus will heal you right now. Huh? Hmm? Look at the boy crying. It's okay, don't cry. This is why this meeting is put together. If this is the only guy that we heal and he experiences the love of Jesus, let me tell you, this sacrifice is worth it. Are you hearing me? Boy, look at me. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's all right. It's all right. See, look at the fact. Oh, please, please, somebody help this man with a handkerchief. I beg you, sir. Please, or anything. Please, let let. This is. Please, please, sir. It's it's all right. It's all right. You may not know how much he has been spending. You see, this is a wicked thing. You see what pains me? This is why we deal with these things. It's all right. Please, 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 daddy. It's all right. Because I know why you are crying. You are not just crying because of him. You are crying because your finances are tight. Is that true? This is what the Lord is ministering to me. Is that true? Yes, sir. That's why you are crying. You are not just crying. I have cancer. But uh, I'm here for both this my son and my mother. I have been to you about two weeks ago. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please help him with it. Please. Brothers and sisters, when a man cries, 
the situation. This is not, I think this man is a police officer also. When a police officer is crying, thank God for koinonia. Boy, look at me. Can he talk? Say Jesus. Jesus. Say in the name of don't worry, I'll pray for you. That demon that is responsible for this, you are leaving this boy now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Out now. Come out of him. That issue of partial paralysis is gone right now. That saliva is gone. Stand up. Come on, look at me. Shout it. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, give Jesus a shout. Say Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at the Father rejoicing. Look at. Give Jesus praise. This is why this meeting is together. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Hey. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Come and dance, come and dance. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Hey. Come and join me. Stand up, you stand up. Stand up. You couldn't walk very well. Walk now. Come, follow me. Jump. 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 Come on, give Jesus a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Look at me. You are family members. I prophesy to you, your finance changes now. I prophesy to you, and I use this as a point of contact. Whatever the devil has used to cripple your life, I speak it right now. See, when the Lord does a miracle, there is an anointing. You take advantage of it. Miracles are languages. I command everything that has refused to work in your life. This night, I command it to walk. I command it to walk. I command it to walk. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord, the Lord increase you. Please, let's continue. Go ahead and play. God is doing great things. We are still going to take some more testimonies. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Go back, sir. We are going to take a few testimonies. And Benga, let's do it this way. There are people receiving miracles right now. See, the moment you find a miracle, don't sit back. Hallelujah. Uh, ushers will help them. Once you check your body, there are many things changing right now. I want you to move here quickly. They'll come and confirm you and will allow you to share. To the shame of the devil, go ahead. Both those that I'm praying for, those in the congregation, those who were delivered, something happened to you. Go ahead and pray. God is doing mighty things here. Sabarai Kabani Nagode Out! Cheto Kabani Nagode Seimoko Oh, 
Showing me a wicked spirit, tying this lady down. Let her go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Out, release her. And this delay, this thing you put in her stomach, take it out now. Take it out, now. let it go. Out, as you hold them, make sure you are praying in tongues. You must saturate the atmosphere with tongues. You don't just hold people like that. Devils are living. Whether it's through me or through you, they should go. Yes, Lord, let it go. By your power, by your fire.
give you testimonies. Yep. Hallelujah. Happened to you straight to the point. I, I was right having now I a see. sharp pain in my chest. So as the man of God was praying, I felt something very heavy coming out. You felt something coming out. Yes. The devil that wants to remain in your body, he must let you go this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. And then I fell down to the ground, and then I was brought here. I just felt very light. Very light. Yes. You are free in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. God bless you. Hallelujah. Any other testimony? Okay, while they come, let's just have the testimonies first. And Hallelujah. That's a powerful song. He's a miracle. Old school, but powerful songs. Alpha, you are Alpha and Omega. He's a miracle. Hallelujah. stupid things but i'm not just acting foolishly where's the water is it not the water you brought for me i said you should give her i didn't say you should collect it huh i know why i drank it and i gave her take my dear you just do what i asked you to do take it there are three that bear witness in the earth the spirit, the water. Hold my hands. Out! Now! Lord, be cleansed. Now, that demon, I see you in the spirit already. Out you go. On your mark, get set, go. Go. Now, go. Out of her. Out of her. And return no more.
go now. Now, now. Cancer. That's why I said cancer. Uh, uh, uh. That cancer. That what they said. Uh, that what they said. Doctors told you. Yes. Did you bring your report? No. You didn't bring your medical report. No. Prostrate cancer. Uh, that what they said. You believe Jesus will heal you? Why not? Right now. Yes. Daddy, God will heal you right yes. now. Yes. How many of you believe God will heal our daddy? Cancer, you are a spirit. And in the name of Jesus, depart from this body now. Together with all the symptoms, prostrate cancer, go. Go. You will go back to the hospital and they will not see a trace of cancer in your body. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for somebody. I'm seeing pile, pile pile and this is not just ordinary pile it's quite advanced please let's hurry up pile i need to prophesy on somebody look let me tell you something um this is this is a family are you getting my point this is a family and this is this is like a hospital it's a medical center. When you enter the hospital, if they say remove your clothes and lie down, you won't tell them, do you know I'm an adult? You will just lie down quietly because this is, this is a spiritual hospital where we deal with a lot of nonsense that Satan wants to bring in people's lives. This is not the only person. There are at least two other people. Please, once we pray for you, don't come and stop us after the meeting and say, actually, I was trying. This is a family. Hallelujah. Jesus, there's one more person. Yes, Lord. Now! Thank you, Jesus. You are a wicked spirit. You are living. Shakapata. I see you already. You are going. I tell you, discernment is a powerful gift of the spirit. Content. I'm going to pray that many of us need, need discernment. Let her go. You see, medicine calls it pile. But look at the real thing. It would have been anything. That's why I tell you, go now. Please, don't waste our time. Go, leave. In the name of Jesus. There's one more person. I hope that. Hallelujah. Now, I need to pray for somebody. This is a funny case. Your money used to disappear and miss physically. Please. This is something that has been very serious. You will keep money, you will count it. It's not the same. I'm, I know some of you are funny until you see it happen real life to people. Come out. The Lord is showing me. Physically, I don't just mean you spent it. You don't know what you did. This is something that has been surprising you. Please. There is a woman, an elderly woman too who is supposed to be here. I'm seeing it. The Lord is showing me. Please, please, let's hurry up. I don't know why you are surprised that your money is missing when the Bible calls Satan a thief. <laughs> See, it's not about stealing. Do demons eat money? No, no. It's a language in the spirit. It's a symbol of oppression. Why will God mention a case like this? If not that God is leading you in your meeting, will you mention a, a case that doesn't make sense like this? The Lord will set you free. Hallelujah. These are activities of the devourer. Mama, you're welcome here. Jesus Christ will visit you.
Thank you, sir. You believe that? Yes. Jesus Christ will visit you. Amen. Huh? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Visit Mama even right now. Look, brothers and sisters, don't let any man confuse you. Wickedness is real. Are you getting my point? Wickedness is very real. Because, look at me. Where is your mother? In my place. Where is your place? Cameroon. Do you know why I called you? Do, do I know you are from Cameroon? Do you know why I'm talking to you? Because I saw light left this mama and came to you. Hold on, don't cry. What is wrong? Wait, hold on. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with your mother? My mother made, had an accident, break the hand for long since they went to hospital. She's still suffering with the hand. I was praying and I wanted to move to the line, but I saw light and the Lord said, uh-uh, address this lady's situation right now. Your mother, it has not been treated till now. They went to the hospital, but it's still there. It's still there. Because, you see, I'm seeing a signboard with obituary, and this thing would have happened since last year. It's this year. I'm seeing since last year a sign of obituary, your mother. But we lost our sister to our elder sister. Hold on now. It's the spirit of death. Hallelujah. We are going to rebuke it because this is what I'm seeing on you too. Look at me. That's why you dream. Dead people. Dead people. <laughs> dead people. You see dead people in your dream. They come to you. Sometimes they are trying to give you something to eat. Yes. Is that true? You, the Lord will deliver you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Go! That wicked spirit. What does the living have to do with dead people? Hallelujah. I need to pray for some people now with this kind of situation. Hold on. Uh, the Lord is ministering to me. There are at least five people. I want you to come and stand here quickly. You see dead people in your dream. Sometimes they try to force food on you. Please, hold me up. The Lord is showing me. Let's just handle this once and for all. If you are still thinking about it, go back to your seat. Dead people, they come to you in your dream. And they give you food. This is, this is the Lord. Please, separate the lines. Just stand here. It's a miracle service who will minister to you. Please make sure you don't go anywhere. I'm still going to prophesy. While we are doing that, did you bring your prayer request? Lift up your prayer request. If you didn't write it, you will be cheated. Please, in one or two minutes, any other person who has not written his prayer request, or I'm giving you two minutes. Send a text to your loved ones. Tell them forward your request quickly. We are going to collect it right now. The Lord gave me an instruction. Usually when we pray for the prayer requests, we'll just go and burn it. But the Lord said I should pack everything and I'm going to be praying from this night till tomorrow morning on it. That's the instruction the Lord gave me. Let me see the devil that will stop your prayers from being answered. Hallelujah. Now, be healed. Please, just write it. If you have not written it, we are giving you one minute. Those online, I hope media has a way of reaching them. Please, you can send a text to your loved ones right now. Tell them, send me your prayer request and you can add it to your paper. We don't read anybody's prayer request. We just pray on it. So, if you think you wrote something and there are still some other things you should write, Please write it. Please. I have my own prayer request. It's an instruction God gave us. We are not. Please, if they need papers, can somebody help them? Okay. The ushers have papers. If you need papers, just wave your hands and the ushers will locate you. Thank you, sir. Let me just finish praying for these people. Be healed, right? Thank you, Jesus. That delay leaves your family now in the name of Jesus. Go! Out! Now! Out! Out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Out. You too. You are following me like an usher. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Please, you can go back to your seat if I've attended to you. Let's just decongest this place. Hold my hands. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, I need to, I need to really pray for you. This thing I'm seeing is not good. We need to pray because I'm seeing a ring. I'm seeing five rings on your hands. This is what I'm seeing. This is a spell. It must leave you now. Mm, it will not affect your home. It will not affect your life. It will not affect your home. We break it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shataka balakata. I'm seeing fire burning you. Something is living. It's like an altar on fire. Shake up. Go. 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 In the name of Jesus. Shekatataba. I see an altar. And this is like a village. The Lord is showing me. I'm seeing like a village. I'm seeing the horn of a cow inside a shrine. Let it be on fire now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I release you. Breakthrough. Supernatural. Inexplainable breakthrough. Because this thing tied the finance of her and her husband. I command its release now in the name of Jesus Christ. Instrumentalist, you are resting. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to deal. See, immediately I finish with this. We are going to deal with marital issues. Marriage. Delay. This delay in marriage. We are going to handle it right now. Sister, look at me. You. See, you. Where you are, God is going to visit your family. God is going to visit you. Do you come? Come. This is one of your major requests. Come, run and come here. Come. Is it true? Is it true? What, what is it? Why? What is true? My sister, my elder sister. Your elder sister is not married. Every is just disappointment here and there. And it's one of your major requests. Even as you are standing there, you are telling God to visit you. To let you know God knows you. You will receive your own right now. Hold my hands. Thank you, Jesus. Let it be for her sister. Now, that cause of marital delay, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. God is doing a major work. Major work in her. Major work. Major work. Every altar of darkness. Please, if I pray for you, just look to me. Go! Look at me, my dear. This is demonic. Don't put yourself in any sort of God in the name of friends. Eh? Don't let them do all kinds of things. Who made this mark on your body? Look at me. You are a very great lady. You are going to be very wealthy. Very, very wealthy. Don't forget about the body of Christ. Huh? You are an usher. You are acting as an usher. Come. Let me finish with you first before you continue. Come, hold my hands. She's serving in that. So go. You are in the name of Jesus. You are leaving her now. Go. You are seeing it's not just about you. Are you getting my point? I'm going to pray for you. 
Lift your hands. Lift it up. Let her go. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now I'm going to pray for you and I'm going to release you. Many of you will be surprised. It will leave you. Father, every demonic thing that has to do with dead people that has brought your people in bondage right now in the name of Jesus I'm asking by the power of the Holy Spirit at the count of three let that power break out of your life my God the fire of God is strong one two three right now let the power of God set you free now 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 everything with dead people I separate you now in the name of Jesus. It is done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift up your prayer requests. Oh, you dropped it. Okay, please bring them outside here quickly. While now, listen. Supernatural marriages. There are some of you, every relationship you enter, something must happen and it will scatter. But first and foremost, please, before marriage people, if you are in business here, yeah, come out. I don't mean if you want to do business, please. If you are in business, come out. If you come out here and we don't see you doing anything, don't come and lie here before God, please. You have started. You have started. Understand what I'm saying, please. Don't just be emotional. You are doing business that we can see. Everybody knows. Ah. It's time for your business to rise. Don't sit back. This is why we are putting this program. Strings, please. Brothers and sisters, it's part of our mandate to prophesy and release prosperity upon people. And I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. That an anointing will come upon you. And that you will run with the spirit of Elijah. Many of you will be surprised at what will happen from this night. It's not by power, it's not by might. It's by the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands, those of you standing here. every mountain has giants the bigger the giants the greater the mountain until you conquer the giants that are in every business mountain you will not prevail let me tell you you can try and do all you know to do but when those giants are conquered it will be a landslide victory and this is what i want to help you do lift your hands for the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. Of you need creativity many of you need favor some of you just need access please lift your hands no man brings himself out of a hole you need another person to help you hallelujah I tell you 
financial mantles will fall upon some of you here but first we need to kick out some giants from the mountain hallelujah lift your hands at the count of three those of you here i just want you to shout just one word jesus very loud you will be surprised that there are some forces tying down your shops and your businesses it will go and i'll release grace are you hearing me are you hearing me my god i feel the power of god help me with the silver at the count of three one two three Let him go now let him go release his business by the fire of the holy ghost scriptures wicked men want to destroy this guy's business i'm seeing people sitting down and discussing is in the law of god so as someone let him sits, go it says but is the is popular is this the woman social center and don't i'm seeing social center so you do hair i be hair you are man is like a hair. tree planted the by fire the of God is coming water. on your heart now. Who's Take it now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your mind is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to be. And we know that your Hallelujah. season will not pass by. I've seen somebody forever shine do dry and you will forever bear dry cleaning. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you working. to subscribe to like, this channel you are not as the only well one. as like 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 us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here like is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Lift it up. Shende bada kata la kapa teke teke pa rakata kata pa kata kaka pa kata rante pa kata kapa every power holding down this dry cleaning business in the name of Jesus go 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah now in the name of Jesus I send a prophetic word to your business. I command dry bones leave dry bones leave dry bones leave those who are looking for shops we give you shops here I don't care whether there's shop or not we give it to you now wherever you wanted to put your business and they said they will not give you a place go back and get your place those who need capital may God by favor locate you this night even your enemy may they bless you hallelujah many of you need customers I don't care whether school is on session or not on session is irrelevant from the north to the south to the east all over Zaria and beyond I call for those who should patronize you in the name of Jesus whoever has spoiled your name so that men don't want to patronize you I change that testimony now I change that testimony now hallelujah Oga John photographers two of you come you cannot be serving in koinonia and be like the rest. Hold your hands. Oga John, look at me. Do you believe in what I'm saying? You believe in what I'm saying? You will be surprised. Lift your hands, both of you. Father, for the sake of your house, for the sake of your house, 
I hold your business step into a new dimension by the power of the Holy Ghost on common access in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ on common access take them to places they would never imagine give them opportunities in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah go and succeed go and prosper now look at let me tell you one big secret many of you what you is greed are you hearing what I'm saying greed greed some of you don't even tighten in your business if you are not faithful in tithing, the devil will eat you up no matter how many days you pray and fast. Are you getting what I'm saying? Your personal tithe is the, as a ministry, we tithe. That's why no devil can touch anything here. Are you getting my point? Be faithful in tithing. Deal in integrity. I bless your business. You are blessed in the city and you are blessed in the country where men have deserted you so that no man passes through you i call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations let your gates be continually open to receive the forces of the gentiles i command the forces of the spirit to align themselves and begin to walk in your favor i command the earth to speak for your favor in the name of jesus go and return with your testimonies everybody rise up as we pray on the request Your blessing and honor and glory and power. Please, if you have not submitted your request, do it quickly. Blessing and glory, honor and power forever. Hallelujah. Please, don't burn them. After, after the prayers, please pack them, put them in a bag. Take them to my house. You will hear unusual testimonies unusual testimonies hallelujah in one minute stretch your hands here and begin to pray radically in tongues and say lord now is the time please outside stretch your hands towards the screen testimonies this spiritual technology unto the God that answers prayer shall all flesh come. my God I pray from now let testimonies erupt 
solve impossible situations change impossible situations I stand under this apostolic unction in the name that is above all names let there be the signs of an apostle I command I invoke the heavens let there be a shifting let there be a movement let there be a release of miracles financial miracles marital miracles health miracles job miracles in the name of Jesus Christ Finally, before I prophesy, hallelujah, you know that there seems to be a yoke, please don't be emotional, of marital delay in your family, even if it has not affected you. Come out and stand here quickly. If we are too many, just stand, just stand on the lines. Please. Take this seriously. 40 years, no marriage. 45 years, no marriage. Or ladies, no marriage. Or men in your family, they marry and die. Let's get that devil out of your life right now. Marriage is the will of God. Marriage on time is the will of God. See, brothers and sisters, if you're doubting whether this will happen, go back to your seat. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. I told you nothing just happens. Nothing. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you here. We need to end this. Many of you just came and met battles you don't know anything about, yet you are suffering it still. I don't care how old you are. We must open that marital door. And not just to one anyhow man because your age is already advanced. They say, let's just manage. No. No. You're going to marry. Listen, sisters, don't marry an irresponsible man in the name of just trying to manage time. And our brothers, don't just jump and marry any Jezebel that will kill your life and destiny. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. We need to break this thing. Because many families are suffering this thing. And for those who have gotten married, you see that there is no child. And by extension, even praying for barren people right now. Lift your hands. Father, Zika Kabbalah Kataya. In this November miracle service, I'm praying right now. Many of you will be surprised. The spell of marital delay. Instrumentalist, are you ready? Look at me. What I'm seeing is rain in the spirit. When I count three, I want you to shout Jesus. That rain will drop. Because there are many of you, I'm already seeing rings. Spiritual rings. Covenants. This is what is stopping you. Please shout it with all your heart. My God, as they shout, this rain fall. Listen. Listen. There will be a divorce here. Many of you, I'm seeing rings on your hands as you're standing, meaning you are already married to demonic entities. This is the divorce. We are going to cancel this thing now. Whether you believe it or not is irrelevant. I'm telling you what I'm seeing. Lift your hands. Father, I pray by this power as they count, Lord, I pray that any spiritual marriage that is not of God, that is dying physical marriages, it will catch fire now. At the count of three, get set. One, two, three. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Now, spiritual marriages break, 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 break now. Every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, every spirit, let them go. Release their marriage.
marital destiny. Every covenant, marital covenant, entered in on your behalf. It catches fire now. We command a divorce. A divorce now. A divorce now. A divorce now. This is what is responsible for the delay of many of you. Pretty lady, no husband. Virtual sister, no husband. Handsome, responsible brother, no wife. People say it's how Nigeria is. There's nothing like that, oh. There's nothing like it's how Nigeria is. I prophesy to you, for many of you, especially for those of you who are of marriageable age, by this time next year, return with your supernatural marriages. I change what needs to be changed. We shift what needs to be shifted. Hallelujah. Sisters, hear me. Wherever your husband is, I don't care where he is. If alive, I bring him into your life. Brothers, in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy the struggle is over. Now, the struggle is over. You are not a liability to any sister. You are a blessing. Therefore, the sister that will agree for you and mean it from her heart, I bring her into your life. Hallelujah. And for any of you that have seen traces of barrenness in your family, they get married, but they can't deliver normally except through CS. I change that report now in the name of Jesus. I change that report now. I change it now. I change it now. Please return to your seat quickly. Return to your seat quickly. Everybody rise. Let me just speak the last prophetic word. And then we'll wrap up. We're out of time. Just leave them. If, if they cannot stand up, just leave them there. Please, quickly, quickly. Everybody stand up in honor of the Lord. Lift up your hands, strings. Boy, stay student, stand up. This gentleman have been here all the way. Hold your hands together. Lift it up and look at me. They came for IT all the way from a boy. And God from from Kogi. Oh, the Kogi guys. You will catch fire. Take it to your campus. Set every devil in Kogi. Drive them out. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Look at me. You will receive an anointing. You will receive a mantle. See Kabbalah. Elijah said if you can see me as I'm taking up father in the name of Jesus let something mighty fall upon these ones grace for signs and wonders grace for uncommon revelation in the name of Jesus Christ take it now take it now take it now in the name of Jesus Christ where are they boy students who are going back quickly come out please save our time a hey, boy students that came on it in zaria appreciate them as they come come and line up quickly it's time to catch the fire and take it to a boy state all of you hold your hands quickly you didn't just come for it you came for a spiritual it lift your hands lift your hands you will go back with fire. Sekata. At the count of three, the power of God will fall on you. Right now, get ready. One, two, take it now. 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 Go and burn. Go and burn. Set your campuses on fire. 
in the name of Jesus, heal the sick, cast out devils. Mike, right? Mike, allow where is he coming? Come. Hallelujah. I, I said I was going to pray for him. Hallelujah. I heard that he just signed a check to pay off for this venue. Hallelujah. I'm told. Come. You cannot give into the kingdom and remain ordinary. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. So shall thy bands be filled with plenty and thy vats to overflow. Satakatapalakai. Let a financial mantle come, O God. According to Proverbs, he said, For the sake of thy house, I desire thy prosperity. I lay my hands upon you. Step into a new level of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord honor you. I give your seed a voice. Go round the earth, gather your kind, and return back to him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Everybody, please lift your hands. I always tell you that this is the part that I love most. I know we are late, but it's better for your destiny to change. You must return next month with your testimony. Please lift your hands. Many of you don't know the power of prophetic statements. Where's the guy from University of Joss? University of Joss. University of Joss. Where's University of Joss again? Come quickly, please. Save our time. You will catch that fire and take it to your campus. Drive every devil out. Yes, Lord Jesus. For you will do mighty things. Lift your hands, both of you. Lord, we wait on you for fire. Take them to another level, oh God. Take them to another dimension. Fill them with uncommon power. Let their limitations melt. Lord, as these hands come, let an anointing come upon their lives. In the name of Jesus. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. All right, foot me now quickly. Foot me now. Foot me now. Please come out. Lift your hands, both of you. Hurry up quickly. Hold your hands together. Lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus. May they step into amazing levels of the anointing. Take the anointing to your campuses. Now, now, now. now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you. Lift your hands. Every closed door. Every door that has been closed over your life and your family. I command right now. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Everything called failure in your life, failure, it will become a forgotten testimony in the name of Jesus. That spirit that causes delay. It works for others until it is your turn. Right now in the name of Jesus. Shake it, take a I command acceleration. You will run like Elijah. You will run like Elijah. All those trusting God for jobs. 
by 28th December the next miracle service I don't know how God did it Lord shake end to end of every office and give your people jobs receive it receive it receive it hallelujah every terminal disease afflicting you or any member of your family right now I command that disease on your mark set go 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 hallelujah hallelujah everything the devil has stolen in your family joy peace progress please believe what i'm about to speak into your life everything the devil has stolen i prophesy right now receive sevenfold restoration sevenfold restoration sevenfold restoration hallelujah I command the favor that distinguishes a man, the favor that separates you from others. In the name of Jesus, let that mantle of favor, let it come upon you now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Every spirit of death that says you will not see December. Lift your hands. This is very important. The way people are dying like chickens. Every spirit of death. I put a mark of the blood and I command it to pass by your family. Pass by your family. Pass over. Pass over. Hallelujah. All those trusting God for admission, you have it finally. I said you have it finally. I don't care who is the rector or who is the visit. That's none of my business. We legislate in this place. Receive your admission. And anyone here that any lecturer is saying you will not graduate, they will sign your paper as you graduate. Hallelujah. Finally, I pray for your finance. We are a blessed people and I pray for you. Right now, whatever makes you not to tithe, whatever makes you not to give and obey the laws that bring increase, whatever makes you feel God is cheating you, I curse you away from that deception. Receive the giving grace. Receive the giving grace. Receive the giving grace. And I pray, whatever is holding your finance and that of your family, I command you to release it now. In the name of Jesus. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Please keep standing. I know we are late. Just give me two minutes and we're out of here. You've never made, please bring the announcement. You've never made a decision for Jesus. Everybody keep standing, please. No moving up and down, please. Inside and outside. This is a very important announcement now. You've never made a decision for Jesus Christ. Please look at me. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. There are some of you who have made a decision for Jesus, but you have found yourself derailing. you backslidden, and you need to return to the Lord. As I count, I will just count one to four because of time. I know there are people outside, there are people inside, we want to welcome you. Don't be ashamed, run to Jesus Christ right now. The Lord bless you as you come. One, please leave your seat and come. Quickly, quickly. Two, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, please. Inside and outside. Hallelujah. Run to Jesus Christ. It's time to make everything new. He died for your sins. Three, please quickly, quickly. Don't just stroll around, run. Run as though they are calling you to give you a gift. Run as though they are calling you to give you a gift. Because it's a gift, the free gift. Hallelujah. 
Finally, four. Hallelujah. You can see, join us. God bless you. Thank you. Lift your hands, those of you here. Thank you for coming. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you died for me. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. Hallelujah. From today, I denounce sin and Satan. I declare that I'm a child of God. I'm born again in the name of Jesus Christ. Satan, live my life. The power of sin over my life is broken. I'm a child of God. Let her go. You are hearing her confession and you are still remaining. Let her go. I'm born again in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for making this decision. We love you. We appreciate you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep